out. Hello, my name is Jay Carpenter of PhoneWord.org, and today we're holding a PhoneWord.org Registrar Workshop. Appreciate you attending. This is being live streamed at www.phoneword.org, and <clears throat> this will be a review of the May 14th, 2014 workshop. We're going to be talking about a few extra items that we didn't talk about on the 14th, but <clears throat> primarily you can review the May 14th workshop registrar workshop to see some of the key elements that we're talking about in the phoneword.org initiative and in particular we're going to be talking about web-based dialable rich media so we'll be talking about what that means what the impact of that could be for overall communications and media delivery as well as how the phoneword.org initiative fits into the numbering testbed initiative that was launched by the Federal Communications Commission in earlier this year so we'll be talking about that a little bit and <clears throat> by the way just as an update at this point to my knowledge we are still waiting for a summary of the workshop, the FCC numbering testbed workshop, and all IP transition workshop that occurred on March the 25th, 2014, at the Federal Communications Commission. The industry is basically still looking for a summary to come forth from that workshop to give guidance as to how the testbed initiative will be going forward. There has been a issues management group that was formed underneath the North American Numbering Council and that has got underway uh, about a week or so ago can't remember the exact date there will be another a second meeting for the issues management group it's referred to as an IMG of the North American Numbering Council, which is referred to as the NANCY, just to get our acronyms all squared away. <clears throat> so the numbering testbed uh, overview uh, or, or sort of reporting group, uh, issues management group, IMG, will be meeting on June the 3rd, <clears throat> which I believe is a Tuesday, for their next meeting. So if you're interested in participating in that, and it is open to all sorts of participants, and I can't remember how many people there are that are involved at this point, something like maybe 20, 30 people from a, <clears throat> a wide spectrum of companies and interest groups, but you can participate. It is an open IMG, and if you're interested in participating in that, you should probably send an email to Rosemary Emmer of Sprint and I don't have her email address handy at this point but you can contact me jcarpenter at phoneword.org and that's j-a-y-c-a-r-p-e-n-t-e-r at phoneword.org and I'll be happy to connect you with the information for the IMG. So Let's see, let me talk a little bit about phoneword.org and actually we'll just go right into the presentation and review the presentation that was presented in full on May the 14th, the prior workshop. So let me start the screen share. And okay. Interesting. Okay. So 
So <clears throat> what's coming up is the presentation that we made on May 14th, 2014, and here's the general agenda. And I'm not going to go over these items in detail like I did on May the 14th because we the idea behind the workshops, why we're having two per month at this point, and keep in mind this is all an experimentation, this is all an experiment, so we're sort of pioneering how this is going to work, how the, the process is going to take place, how we're going to build a community around the initiative, but the second Wednesday of the month is the first Registrar Workshop, and that takes place in the late afternoon in North American time and uh, later at night in Europe as well as I believe it's not quite sure what it what time it is in Asia and Australia but the idea is we have one workshop that's later in the day and then the second workshop which is this workshop the third Wednesday of the month is earlier in the day to allow people to join that might not be able to join the other time also to open up the time zones so that we can try to cover as much possible uh, community and audience throughout the world and primarily we went over dialable rich media which I'll talk about a little bit today how we're proposing to experiment with that, which is using a service called Phono. And I'm going to talk a little bit of, more about that today than I did on the 14th. And then we're going to talk about, I'm not going to cover the unified provisioning and administrative alternatives. Instead, what I'm going to talk about is the direction that we're planning to go with the underlying architecture, infrastructure, technology choices, and so forth. <clears throat> and that has changed um, certainly since the original proposal was presented to the Federal Communications Commission back in February for PhoneWord. And it's changed actually even since the last workshop. Um, <clears throat> we're going to talk a little bit about use cases and however not so much on this session because that was covered in the last session. So the general idea though for phoneword.org is to create a community that can collaborate and create something new in the realm of communications and media delivery. And that is really our purpose and our intention here. So if you're watching this session, appreciate your interest and I ask that you consider following us at least to see how this develops. This is an extraordinary opportunity to make a phenomenal dif difference, in my view, in the entire global realm of communications and media, as well as some other significant areas. So here's our agenda. Here are the... <clears throat> in goals and the intentions. I'm not going to go over these in detail today, but basically phoneword.org is looking to create something new that's easy for everybody in the world to use. It's as easy as dialing what, what appears to be a telephone number but is not a telephone number. <clears throat> something that's secure. We think we've got a new opportunity to create a 
platform and a way to connect that's both secure and easy, which those two have been at odds in the past. And we think there's a very rich opportunity set to create maximum user value in a, in a whole list of areas and here are only four areas that are outlined. So that's the intention. The <clears throat> first thing that we're working on is browser dialing. So this is a snapshot of the development works uh, website that we're using, which is www.phoneword.us. You can go there. I'm going to turn off the screen share right now and go to the website itself. So bear with me a moment. Actually, we are going to go here part of what we're doing is getting familiar with the tools that we're using for these hangouts so Get back into the screen share. <clears throat> okay, so now we're on the development website for Dialable Rich Media, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a call through this website to a predetermined number, which is 1 800 phone word. This dialer will, one of the next steps we're working on is to make this dial, dialer operable so that you can go to the website and actually dial from the website without having to do any plugins, without having to do any downloads, none of that. You simply dial. Now, you do have to, as I'll show in a moment, you do have to allow permission to use your microphone. So, <clears throat> and you're welcome to play with this um, at any time. And again, it does ring to only one number currently, but it will ring to multiple numbers in the future. So if you go to the phoneword.us website and you click on this 1-800-PHONE-WORD, it actually starts dialing and you can see it's calling I'm going to turn off the oh do have to remind you to allow access up here in the corner to the microphone so once that's clicked you can see it's calling. And let's go back to here. Let's do a refresh. Okay. Hold please while we connect your call. Okay. There 
you have it. This is a phone call that's actually being made from phoneword.us to, in this case, a cell phone, an iPhone, with no plugins, no downloads, nothing. This Your is call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Six zero two 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 eight four four eight six is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Okay, this is Jay making a test message during the phoneword.org registrar workshop on Wednesday, May 21st, 2014. It's about 11.16 a.m. excuse me, 11.16 a.m. Eastern Time, and this message can be erased. So I'm hanging up, and that hung up the call. So <clears throat> there you have it. And again, that... So it, it made the voicemail, which can be listened to. And we'll go back to the presentation. Bear with me. Oh, before we go back to the presentation, I want to show you something. So as I mentioned, that was a product or a service called Phono. And this is a view of AT&T's Foundry web page. So for those of you that might not know what AT&T Foundry is, it is an innovation initiative that's launched, that's been launched by AT&T, where I believe they have four locations around the world, um, which is simply a, a place and an initiative for AT&T to create and develop new and innovative products and services in <clears throat> what I would call an agile fashion. So I'm not sure if you can see my cursor, but this at the very bottom right hand portion of the AT&T.js and the JS stands for JavaScript. Excuse me, there is a an icon for what looks like a P, which stands for Phono. So AT&T has actually incorporated the same piece of technology into their platform that we are using and experimenting with at phoneword.org, <clears throat> which is the phono, phono service. And here you can see, I don't know, again, if you can see my cursor, but over here is the code that can be added to a website to ex experiment with AT&T's version of Phono. So this is what phoneword.org is experimenting with and planning to use for the numbering testbed, assuming that phoneword.org is included with the numbering testbed initiative. But what we are using is very much aligned with what AT&T is using for their innovation initiative, for their experimentation. Now, in addition, the <clears throat> on the PhoneWord Forum, about a year ago, we had Jose de Castro of Voxeo spoke to us about another interesting combination of Voxeo's services and AT&T, which was their Amici <clears throat> um, platform. And Amici is a way to, and I haven't used it, but 
basically Amici is a way to go in and actually have an API application programming interface into some of AT&T's networks, network functionality and features. So I think there's a lot of alignment that's taking place in terms of the web uh, based dialing as well as the carriers like AT&T opening up some of their internal network services, features, and functionality for developers to start, start to experiment with. So this is very much aligned with what we are taking on and planning to incorporate into our initiative for a new realm of naming, addressing, and numbering. <clears throat> so I'll go back to the presentation. Let me take a look. Okay, good. So we are back into the presentation and I'll go on to the next slide. Let's see. Okay. So in last week's workshop, we talked a little bit about the existing ecosystem, architectures, etc. We're not going to go over that again. And then we talked about the possible architectures. So we are favoring a model of multiple registries that can work in a federated way via policy primarily, not necessarily technology, but policy. And we're highlighting peer-to-peer -peer functionality. The other key element of the phoneword.org initiative is a proposal to create null registrations or let's call it a placeholder registration for every possible, let's say, counterpart in the IP network or internet protocol network. Every, every telephone number that could exist on the public switch telephone network, what if there was a counterpart that existed on the internet protocol network that might or might not work with the sister or cousin or whatever you want to call it on the public switch telephone network address. So what if there was a fully qualified domain name that worked for, that, that was in existence for each and every possible telephone number that exists on the public switch telephone network. And again, keep in mind that a fully qualified domain name, although it might look like a telephone number, it might act like a telephone number, but it is not a telephone number. It's a fully qualified domain name. So <clears throat> we went over some of the other key elements. Uh, the, other, the other thing that I'd like to mention is that a big part of the phoneword.org initiative is incorporates market-based and market allocation methods and elements that are, go beyond just a business model. These market-based elements actually start to become part of the technology part of the engineering that is required to make the entire ecosystem work and the entire ecosystem communicate effectively in a secure manner. And this is what I consider to be one of the, the key enablers as well as the key, let's say, innovations as well as radical approaches to what has existed in the past and what can exist in the future. And by the way, 
what we're talking about is a, definitely an over-the-top approach. So going to the next slide, we also are proposing experimenting with some innovation in terms of dispute resolution and we're planning to start with virtual numbering as a starting point. So here's the registry proposal and this came from the March 25th presentation at the Federal Communications Commission. We embrace and endorse this approach which is a multiple registry approach versus a single test bed registry. The next slide is just a thumbnail sketch of the key elements of the phoneword.org platform, registry, registrar, and then registrant layers. Then the final slides that we're talking about is basically how how we're proposing to pull the ecosystem together, how to create at the registrar level, which is the, the I'll call it the community level, the, the operating community level, how do we propose to structure this so that various entities, interests, and so forth can participate, and that is via registrars. And switch to the next slide. You can see we talked about the difference between commercial registrars and the next slide, which is um, some of the, their use cases on the last workshop. Um, we'll talk then the other distinct registrar community section is sponsored registrars which are for academic research institutions, public safety, could be whatever. Whatever is kind of entity is not working for or not in existence for a profit, that type of entity would fall into the sponsored registrars. And the next slide is use cases and then general participants. So although we're structuring a community of paid participants for registrars at a very, very modest rate, the and that's simply to self-fund the phoneword.org initiative and keep it as impartial, Swiss neutral as possible. We're also keeping an element that's open to the general public that is not paid, not an official part of the community, but yet can participate. So going to the next slide, all that leads to an initiative that's de designed to foster collaboration. And the next slide, we're opening up the question and always have the question open, what do you want? And we want to listen for that from multiple dimensions, multiple parts of the ecosystem community. And then we talk about next steps, our workshop today, and the June workshops will have a different presentation to work from. However, this is basically the May area of focus. And then the last part, last slide is, uh, well, second to the last slide is the contact information. And then the last slide is just a thank you. And a link to join us. So you can click this or you can go to phoneword.org, www.phoneword.org, and you can sign up as a commercial registrar or a sponsored registrar. And we encourage you to do that, to fully participate in the workshops. So let me go back up. We're not done just yet. Um, let me talk about this a little bit. The platform service layers and what sort of technology 
is being proposed to accomplish this three layer ecosystem or community. Well, we started with a proposal to use an existing registry and registrar construct. And the intention now is to create something from scratch that's completely new, that is very contemporary, that has does not have legacy, let's say, overhead, and that is as open and simple to use as possible and simple to develop as possible for the overall community. So what we're talking about now, and in the past we've, you can look at some of the prior workshops, prior recordings, and you can see that we were proposing Node.js, which is a server-side JavaScript um, construct that is very powerful, that is relatively new, that a lot of, there's a, there's a growing commit community around Node.js. Using Node.js for the server side, and this would be uh, as a, let's say, a replacement for Apache, which is the traditional method of provisioning a web server. So Node.js in co combination with MySQL. And that's what's appeared on some of the prior slides. Well, <clears throat> we're now proposing a completely full stack JavaScript approach. So instead of using MySQL, we're now proposing using MongoDB. And that's what we're starting to experiment with now so that this will be completely JavaScript oriented approach that can leverage the growing community that's building around Node.js, MongoDB, full stack JavaScript, and that's really what we're pursuing and we're going to start as the development platform, the development stack from this point onward. So the prior notations about MySQL, it is possible to have a hybrid between a relational database management system, uh, which is MySQL, and a NoSQL platform like MongoDB, and we might experiment with that going forward. But at this point, what we're really focused on is a full stack JavaScript environment that's from client side to server side, all JavaScript. So I'm going to leave it at that point right now, but I did want to include that as an update for this workshop. And we're going to conclude. So I appreciate you watching this. And our next <clears throat> workshop will be, I'm going to stop the slide share. Okay. So our next <clears throat> phoneword.org registrar workshop will be on Wednesday, June the 11th at 5 p.m. Eastern. 
and we'll be sending out a notice for that via the social media, also via an email distribution list that's being built currently. So if you're interested in being on the distribution list, please email me. Well, just go to phoneword.org and look under the contacts. You can get my email address and you can send me an email. I'll be happy to add you to the distribution list. But and by the way, that distribution list involves pretty much uh, four emails a month. One email the day before a workshop, another email an hour before the workshop, and we've got two wor workshops. So basically you're talking about four emails per month, not a lot. There might be some other extraordinary, there might be some other cases where we would e email something, some sort of announcement. But primarily, if you're part of the phoneword.org, register our workshop email distribution list, you're only going to get four emails per month. Now. So June the 11th, 2014, at 5 p.m. Eastern will be our second Wednesday workshop. And then on the third Wednesday, we'll have the morning session, which will be at 11 a.m. Eastern time on June Wednesday, June the 18th. So please put that on your calendar. Join us. We might have some special guests, special technical experts to join us during those workshops. And with any luck at all, we'll have the platform much further along um, for you to test, see how it works, contribute, etc. Now, the other thing that you might be interested in is the Funwood Forum, which is on the last Wednesday of the month. And that is that has a different purpose that's more of a general d discussion in the industry for the most part. And that will be on the final Wednesday of uh, May, which I believe, well, it's a week from today, the 28th of May. So you can look for that and get information at phoneword.com regarding the phoneword forum. But that is not a, necessarily a technical discussion, it gets into the realm of more in the policy business elements, regulatory, and sometimes there's some technology involved, and I suspect that this next one might be technology-oriented, but you can join us on that. That is at 4 p.m. Eastern on the last Wednesday of the month. So that's what we have going on. I, again, we will keep you updated on industry developments as well as the technology developments and the innovation and collaboration part. So thank you very much for watching this. Thanks, thank you for your interest in phoneword.org and what can be created. And thank you for putting up with the some of the technical glitches and some of the fumbling around with the slide share and so forth. So we will conclude for today, and please join us on June the 11th at 5 p.m. Eastern for the next phoneword.org registrar workshop. Goodbye.